Good morning. I literally just walked in from the gym. I got my coffee for the day and I decided to do a get ready with me. I haven't done this in a while and you guys seem to love my what I wore videos where I show you what I wear every single day and I love doing that for you guys. But today what I thought I would do is show you a little bit more of the whole process of what it looks like getting ready from start to finish with my makeup, hair, and then what I decide to wear that day. So really you're just getting one outfit idea or one inspiration today, but you're seeing kind of the whole process. So hopefully you'll get inspired just by like maybe some makeup tips or hair tips or whatever. You can just hang out with me, drink coffee and get ready with me. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I've learned to always start with my sunscreen first. When I get ready, I really like to have my hair completely slicked out of my face. I don't even like stray hairs getting in my makeup. I don't know why. It's one of my things. I have been looking for a moisturizer forever that I like that didn't break my skin out. I'm loving this stuff. Origins Ginseng. I like to put it on a little bit right up here. Then I actually like to brush it on. Usually on an everyday, I kind of tend towards like a neutral look for the most part maybe like some brown neutrals on my eyes but other than that I don't go crazy and I don't add my blush or my lip color until I've picked out my outfit. My brows. I don't know why. It's just really fun. First, I like to brush them. I've used this palette forever. It's L'Oreal Color Riche. I've had it forever. It's the Coupe Joe. You guys have probably even seen me talk about it. It's just a bunch of neutrals, and I really like it. I use this for my brows, for my eyes, everything. I like my brows to be really bold, but as natural as possible. lash and I like to brush my brows with that. We have two brushes, this one or this one, and this is the kind of more feathery which I use for my brows. Very free the color. palette but go with the darkest brown and I put it on the brush and I kind of create like a smoky cat eye but more blended out. Then I'll take like a straight brush but a little bit more length to buff it out. And then just for a little fun like a shimmery brown from down here. And I'll just run it under my eye. Smudge it. A little bit of a white in the inner corners. And then last, I do my lashes. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. Benefit, they're real. They're so good. Ah, 
my face is done. I just washed my hair. I don't really like to brush it. And I put a little product in it. Surf spray. Put a little of this now. It's Kevin Murphy Night Rider. It's a texture paste. A little bit on my fingers. It coated on my hands and then I just kind of put it and go like this. All about messy hair. Messy, messy, messy. Nothing smooth, nothing perfect. I want as much body as possible when I blow dry it and I actually really don't like clean hair, I like dirty hair, so I try to make it as dirty, messy as possible when it's clean. Now I'm gonna blow dry it. Oh, it's pretty dry, there's still some wet pieces, but that's kind of how I like it. I just finger through my hair, I try not to use a brush because I want that messy look. I am showing you how to use a curling iron. I know a lot of people use a straight iron for this and I've done that, but for some reason it just doesn't work as well for me. And I'll show you just like my trick on how to use a curling iron without it looking too curly. Sometimes it goes too curly, keep it from looking like that and just more of a beach way. I, I do it with curling iron. The whole trick is just not doing the ends rolling it up maybe you want to go all the way up I maybe do one or two depending on what I want that wave to look like and then I pull it out away from the face and it's like that the pieces right down here it just adds some body right there so shake it out Shake it out. All right, I haven't done my bangs, so I'm gonna do those. Curl them same way. The decision is, do I go curly bangs, like slightly messy bangs, or straight bangs? I think I'm gonna do slightly messy. Mess it up. I love it. Has that great kind of Stevie Nicks vibe that I love. And then again, same texture, paste. And then I'll just pull it so that it's not crazy. There you go. It's big, it's messy, it's full, it's Stevie Nicks. Now I gotta get dressed. So I'm gonna figure out what to wear now. I honestly have no idea, but usually what I like to do is start with one item. So I'm gonna look for one item. I think the item I'm gonna go with is this t-shirt. It's like a jazz t-shirt from Bourbon Street and it's super oversized, which I think is kind of fun. And I think I might like do a jeans look with it or maybe a skirt. So let's see what I come up with. A great way to wear your t-shirts right now is actually putting a really tight turtleneck underneath it. It kind of gives it something unexpected. And I don't know, I just really like it. So I'm gonna do uh, this turtleneck and then I'm gonna throw the t-shirt over it. Pulled out all my jean options that I think would look good with this. I went with my Alexa Chung AG from Crossroads, my Levi's, 501s, my Joe's kind of ankle crop distressed. So we'll see which one works. Those are my Joe's. These are my AG Alexa Chung jeans. Those are my 501s. I'm thinking like a skinnier jean looks better. It's between the Joes or the J AGs. I'm leaning toward the AG. I'm gonna go with the AG jeans because I think I'm gonna wear like my tall boots so you'll see my boots. Between these boots or these boots. I'm gonna go with these. They're more skinny and tight on my ankle which I think is more flattering so I'm gonna go with those. The question I ask myself every day is what crazy pair of earrings should I wear today I'm gonna wear these. Yep, gotta do it. All right, you got to see the whole process of start to finish, hair, makeup, getting dressed, everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything you wanna say, leave comments below. Thanks so much for joining me and getting ready. I will see you guys next time.